a Dubai company founded by a Dubai royal prince is is buying Africa's land left right and center and it's buying huge chunks of land and that is a bad idea for Africa so a Dubai company by the name of blue carbon that was founded by a Dubai prince known as Ahmed Al Maktoum is buying huge chunks of land in Africa the company that is blue carbon has entered into MOUs that is memorandum of understanding and it said that it has already bought land in Africa that is at least five countries in Africa that is Kenya Liberia Zimbabwe Zambia and Tanzania so apparently this company has given the Zimbabwe's government about 1.5 billion dollars which we are yet to ascertain this figure so the project is already running you can go and see it on their website if you are interested the company also uh, had already entered agreements with the Liberia government under President George Weah in 2023, early 2023, just a few months after the Blue Carbon Car Company was founded. And that is a really bad idea because, you know, all these agreements have one thing in common, exploitation, and we call it land grabbing because the local communities from which this land uh, is being bought uh, were not involved. And you know, how do these people, the company Blue Carbon Operate, they, have, they acquire Africa's forest. They buy them, some say for decades, yeah? like the, the Liberia's deal. It was a... Uh, they were supposed to to have that 10% of uh, the country's land for for over a decade. Some put it claim that these deals are supposed to last for three decades at, at least, and this is a very bad move for Africans. You know, the those people who are involved in this deal say that. This deal is important for the African communities because, and the governments because the UAE company is going to give these governments the money that they need most for things like healthcare and infrastructure. But no, we know very well that this money is likely, most likely is going to end up in pockets of corrupt politicians. And we as Africans on the ground are going to suffer. So we, as, as Africans, who depend on a forest should reject the, any kind of deal that we, we are not involved. They, they are in their website, they indicate that they, were in, they involved the communities. But the truth of the matter is, if you ask like the Liberians, they will tell you that they were not involved. Like right now, 20% of Zimbabwe land, forest specifically, are, have, are, are already running these projects. But if you ask the, popul the local population, they will tell you they were not involved. These are the kind of deals that us as Africans must reject. Must reject. Yeah? We should reject all these kind of shady, shady deals. Because they are not going to benefit us in the long run. You know, uh, they, they are saying that uh, the reason as to why this project is going to profit Africans is because we are going to get money. What is now paper? At the expense of our livelihoods. Yeah? You know, there is something that Africans do not really understand about Dubai. Dubai is one of the most racist places for Africans. They cannot even rent you homes in some places in Dubai like Sharjah. Real estate in estates in Sharjah will not rent African households homes. Yeah, you can ask Africans who've been there. 
we have friends who've been there and they just they will tell you yeah so that aside that aside i'm urging african leaders african governments to not to not sell out their people i'm asking them to stop any kind of engagements with the blue carbon company because you know this carbon credit thing is a new thing and uh, some of these leaders who are signing these things they don't understand how they work they don't because i will tell you the reason as to why i very well know that the reason as to why this company was founded you, you see the founder of blue carbon the founder of blue carbon al maktoum ahmed he's the he's the he's the founder and the ceo of the emirate group they will tell you that uh, this is a state owned company ahmed is a royal prince yeah they are the government is the founder is the ceo of that company yeah so they have a lot of money he generates a lot of income from his oil business from the royal family oil business he runs a very huge oil business the uae is one of the largest oil producers in the world is actually the sixth largest oil producer in the world and they are planning to expand their oil producing cap capabilities but because europe and the, the entire west and of course asia they said no you people should reduce the amount of carbon you produce now they came up with this that the idea of oh now let's go to africa let's buy the forest so that we produce oil as much as you want as we want yeah so the, these things they are not go, doing it because they love africa so much they are doing it for the benefit of themselves and our leaders are so gullible they are so selfish and corrupt they want to just take in whatever the, it's being brought in their on their table yeah so we should reject this deal at all cost unless it involves involving all the communities like you know the, the bad thing about this deal is that the company yeah the, the that company the dubai based company says that they will own 70% of the profits that they will generate from selling the carbon credits tax free and the 30% will go to the governments what about the local communities now you will just say the governments will just will know how they will distribute this uh, income no many people agree that 60% uh, of their profits should go to the local communities but now with this carbon uh, ca company carbon offsetting company they will take 70% and give governments 30% local population get zero get zero of course they'll start saying things like you know uh, you will get something small maybe i don't know 10 percent no the local communities actually it's agreed they should be getting 60 percent of the profits from generated from the carbon projects from the carbon offsetting from selling the carbon credits and you know this thing is so complex because apparently one carbon credit is equals to one ton of carbon saved in trees so our leaders are just accepting things like as if they don't have the brains so we as africans are reject, rejecting that project unless they come and explain to us in detail how they are going to acquire our land and how we are going to live because africa right now we are there are many countries that are struggling with the with the with the food they are having food problems like i said in a previous video right now one out of every five africans who sleeps goes hungry and now you want to take our forest we sometimes we do cut these trees like the one you see behind me we cut them and we plant we sell this and we 
get the money. We replant, we know how to replenish our trees. But then somebody will just come here and say, now you people, uh, we want you to move. We want you to move and we are bringing this project to you. To hell with it. You as an African, what do you think of the, this project of, by the Dubai, by the Dubai uh, farm? Comment below.